Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about Git and specifically we're going to be talking about making diffs a little bit more readable when uh, you're changing parts of a line. Uh, by default, when you look at diffs, they are going to be line based. So if we look, uh, for instance, I'm, I'm in my work repo here. This is something I've been doing recently. If we do git log format equals to get rid of the patch, uh, dash p to show the patch, uh, sorry, to get rid of the commit message here. Uh, this file, I've been upgrading the Python version at Sentry recently, uh, and we keep track of the versions and the SHA-256s and the URLs to download these, and you'll see that this diff is kind of hard to understand what changed, because it just looks like everything changed. Um, and this is, you know, the default mode of git diff. We can change this, and we can use what's called a word diff, word diff, and this will show us a slightly better view of what's going on. However, you'll see that it's still not that great. We get this kind of full URL change here, even though I'm pretty sure there's only just this first number that changes in the middle here. Uh, it does a pretty good job for the SHA-256 though, uh, which is nice. And you can see that it changes it from one, one to the other. Uh, but we can actually improve on this a little bit more to just get this little version number change in here by uh, customizing the word diff regex. And by default, it is something like this. Uh, sorry, I copy pasted that. Uh, this is saying that any non white space character is a word diff. Uh, and so you see, oh, actually that makes it worse. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think they do something to find word boundaries, but uh, this is kind of what they recommend to include as your default here. And then you can customize this by adding whatever regex you want beyond here. So for instance, if we wanted to get uh, our um, our uh, SHA-256s, or SHA-1s here, did I say 2d6? Oh, it is to SHA-256, yeah. If we want to get our SHA-256s here, we can get that by doing a to F039 plus. You'll see that it still isn't quite right for this little bit in here. Uh, but we can add yet another regex that handles that for us. If we do a, a zero to nine and dot, this is of course not that precise because it's going to get our trailing dot as well. Um, you'll see now that I've customized the regex, we get a nice little diff that shows us the inline changes here. You know, specifically we change this version of this here. We change shot sixes here, uh, and this is much more readable than just big blob of red, big blob of green. This is pretty similar to what GitHub does when it shows diffs uh, while you're reviewing stuff. Oh, yeah, this is a different change here. I could, of course, customize my regex a little bit further to handle something like this, uh, but you kind of get the idea of changing around the the, um, the regex, the word diff regex to give you a better output. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. I use this all the time to find little changes in inside lines instead of just the whole line. Uh, if there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.